Speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement. And two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off, even for a brief second. It's live on EA TV. Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Riverside Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Middlesbrough and they face Swansea City. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. The cross is on. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, let's dissect the Swansea City lineup. Well, it's certainly a back four, but I think we'll see a lot of rotation in midfield. They just need to have a good understanding about when to support the front player and when to drop that little bit deeper. It certainly looks like a 4 5 1 to me. Well, I must say, Stuart, every reason to believe this will be one sided. Our hosts are the most prolific goal scorers in the league while their opponents have the poorest return of any front line. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how they come here and cope with this brilliant forward line. They'll have to defend really well because this could be a tough match for them, I think. Chemiswa Poajeta. Grimes. Allen with it. Poajeta. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Crossing opportunity. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Joe Allen. Grimes. Allen with it. No possibilities in the centre. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Grimes. Borough have it back. Keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. And Borra unable to keep the ball. Matt Clark.
Good looking ball. Johnny Housen. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Good ball over the top. Grimes. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? The delivery. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, but the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. So Borough get things restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Will they be able to square the game? And the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. Regain possession. Well, that's how to beat your opponents. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Cuts it back. Daniel Barlazer. Chance to play it in. Well, a really good run. But the danger averted for now. And the referee blows the whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at the Riverside. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Bar Lazar. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Joe Allen. Juajeta. Could be threatening. Just the challenge that was required. Can he play it in? under pressure had to react and did Grimes Jamie Patterson Shemiswa Pajeta in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here Passing it accurately. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. 
Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Now, well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Joe Allen. Grimes. Well, they know how to pass the ball and at pace. On to Greenwood. Good technique displayed. Throw into Swansea City. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Kyle Norton and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw now they're going to alter things here's the substitution Grimes Yates and a tidy challenge into the final 20 minutes. O'Brien. Marcus Force. Hayden Hackney. Lewis O'Brien. Promising move from Borough. that is how to block and just flicked off the defender so a corner coming up well these fans have had to be patient could this be the equaliser <laughs> and taken short cutting in what can he do from this position and he squandered the chance to equalise. Well, I have to say, that's a wasted opportunity. They should be level here. Promising attack, this. Really good, strong tackle, and it'll be a throw in. Darling. Josh Key. It's Burrow's turn now. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Hayden Hackney. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out, and the cross into the middle. The ball back with Borough now. <laughs> Determined defending. Well, racing past his man. This could square the game. A good and fair challenge. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, before the game, I couldn't see how they would score. But overall, I thought they deserved this win. They really did show a lot of fight today.